Politicians uh, of the main political parties in Nigeria are probably having a hang over uh, of the events of the past week. The defection that rocked the ruling of Progressive Congress hit the political space. Well, many of us saw it coming. It was intense, no doubt. For the APC, it could be as described the removal of stones from their eyes well, and sieving of sand from their gary. Well, that's what uh, as much we've heard the politicians say recently. For the opposition PDP, they, they see it as victory for democracy and a step that will save Nigeria from the sportism and fascism. That is their stance. That is what politicians are telling us. But what are they not telling us? The defections happened despite several attempts by the leadership of the APC to salvage the situation. Talks probably hit the brick wall and allies are fast becoming adversaries. What about the defecting politicians? How are they being received? There is a report of brewing resentment against the defecting heavyweights from the APC to the PDP, 11 senators and 35 members of the House of Representatives and 13 lawmakers from Benue make up the number of the large-scale defection. Let's get a conversation started. How is the PDP seeing all of these developments? Joining me is uh, a member of the Board of Trustees of the People's Democratic Party, Chief Olabode Judge. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Always my pleasure. The defections to your party, good or bad? Very good indeed. You know, simply put, most of them were members of our party. They left the party and tried their luck somewhere else. And uh, for me, if you look at the Nigerian politics, all political parties, we don't have ideological differences. Where you say far right, far left, or center right, center left. We don't have that. So what we have people here, will say PDP and APC are more of the same, I right? No, no. What I'm saying, is, it is in the configuration, the attitude, the, the commitment to, the service, to servicing the people. That is what Nigerians are asking for. Basic things of life. What do you do in terms of education, in terms of unemployment to graduates, on uh, 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 infrastructural development, such basic things. That's all our people are concerned about. And every four years, you have to go back and renew your mandate with the people. Ask them. I have said it several times that, look, the question we need to ask our own electorate is, are you better off today than before? If you are better off, then vote APC. If you are not better off, you have that date with history that you look and pray to God Almighty to direct you. If you are not better off, then you know what to do with the alternative. You, you, and you, you, you are a party administrator. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You've gone al as far as uh, the, the, the party's deputy uh, national vice chairman. And uh, in fact, we are hearing uh, trouble is brewing in some states where some of the members of the APC are defecting. Uh, and uh, do you see this as plus? Because now it, it looks like some crises are coming up again. You can't but have such crises. What will be the measure of the managers? The capacity to handle and resolve those such crises. You see, the PDP is not a contraption. The PDP is not a congregation of strange bedfellows. We have our methodologies. We have our concept. The concept of operation, the concept by which this party was established, they're still there. But and, I mean, so, uh, and so uh, when Chief they George, come in... Sorry, Chief George, some of these people who are leaving the APC, they are grieved. Some of them are not sure about getting tickets. Those are the allegations that are on the table. And it looks like they are being promised those tickets, automatic tickets, going into the PDP. You know, when you talk about getting tickets, we have a system. Most of these people are not new to PDP. They will come there will be justice, there will be fairness and equity. That are those three tripods that make this party envious of any other political party. There is not some emperor sitting somewhere and dictating that yes, you will go, you will not go. The system will work itself out. Look, if you think that 
we will they will come in there and all will be honky doody no but i mean but some will. of these people that are coming to your party yes. had left some of them had left three different times before some had left two times and they are coming back what does this you know what you does know, this speak about the integrity of your own party no 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 too? do you know why they are coming back yeah you know why they are coming back you know if you if you have a home and your house is leaking you are a landlord in the house it's leaking and you think the only solution to it is go and try the other party. Let me move to that other side. You went in there and you saw hell there. What would you do if you are, if you are logical? Go back to where you think, ah, this is a much better place than where I went. Are you, are you think PDP is better than the APC? Are you kidding? Do you, you know how the PDP was established? The party was established for one purpose to make sure that there is oneness, genuine co cohesion amongst all the various ethnic groupings of this country. You know, who were the founding fathers of our party? Chibolaige was one, Alex Ekweme, Papa Solomon La, uh, Alaji, late Alaji Shiroma, Rimi from uh, Kanu. These were people who would never have been able to sit in any room well, because I, mean, I asked that question because of the issues of governance which the question has been look if these people are leaving the APC yeah. Nigerians who are making comparison between the PDP who left power about three four years ago and the the APC who is uh, in power right now uh, are you saying that your party is delivering better than uh, the APC that's all I'm saying it, it, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to look at this when you go to the polls next election, ask yourself, am I better off on that APC than before? Ask yourself. These are simple questions you can ask. You know what, you, what uh, 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 the level of income, what has happened to your children who graduated? Well, for Nigerians, yeah. do, you think Niger Nigerians do, do you think that Nigerians should, should think better of your party? No. Why would, As not, it why, why right would now? they not? Why would they not do so? Because the alternative is there. You see, when when we we, we made a, a a very proud statement that we will continue to rule Nigeria for sixty years, we got to the cruising level, put it on autopilot, and forgot. We had been given a reminder. We lost that election. And we went back to our table. All right. Where did we go wrong? Okay. It is not, you know, it's like asking the Conservative Party in England or the Labour Party. No particular party has been running the British government for eternity. Absolutely. Right. The same thing in America.